just three days from the midterm elections with the economy and inflation top of mind, we'll say, for voters in Connecticut even, a state we didn't even think we were going to be talking about. The cost to heat our homes is astronomical ahead of winter, among a ton of other items that are pushing this race. Yeah, to help discuss this, we're going to welcome in Republican nominee for U.S. Senate in Connecticut, Leora Le Levy. Levy. Sorry, Leora, we have been going <laughs> back and forth about your name, but good morning. Thanks for joining us. Now, your Good opponent, morning. Thank your, you for having me. Our pleasure. Carla says that you guys are great over here. Now, your opponent, Richard Blumenthal, calling the Keystone Pipeline a distraction when the left's backwards policies have ruined American energy. What is your reaction to this? You know, he is so out of touch. He is a 37-year career politician. He doesn't know what it's like to really live here. Yeah. Um, we have a very, we have a looming crisis with energy here, historic shortage for home heating oil. I checked with my oil company just three days ago before my debate. What is the price today? It was $5.95 a gallon. A year ago, it was $2 and change. Yeah, well, also, this is a guy whose family owns the Empire State Building. He's not exactly struggling in life, okay? His also, like, his main campaign pitch was like, I'm gonna fix Metro North, like, every six years, that's his thing. And Metro North <laughs> is still a disaster. So, I mean, well, go ahead. Has he ever set foot on Metro North? Probably I not. I doubt it. His call you know, service. I bumped into him this summer at the Brooklyn Fair. That's right, that's all the way up on the border with Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. I took it took me four hours in traffic to do what should have been an hour and 20 minute drive. Mm -hmm. When I bumped into him, I said, hi, Dick. So how long did it take you to get here? Because we live in the same town. <laughs> he said, oh, no time at all. And I said, what, didn't you hit the traffic that I hit? He said, no, no traffic. I said, what did what did you do? Fly? He said, yes. Oh, oh my God. Wow. Out of so touch. <laughs> above it all. Well, yeah. OK, so going off of uh, that and talking about being out of touch, do you think he is hearing what his voters actually want? No, he is not hearing what voters want. You know, yeah. he voted for the Biden Blumenthal build inflation back better bill that create that is hiring 87,000 new IRS agents to harass middle-class Americans yeah. and small businesses are job creators. And he voted against 18,000 new Border Patrol agents yeah. to close that border. He doesn't understand that the invasion at our border is affecting lives here in Connecticut. Right. Well, We've had eight babies, teenagers, e young adults, die from fentanyl poisoning and his only solution is more narcan more federal dollars for more narcan more band-aids why not close that border yeah oh, prevent that, it yeah. from coming in that's the interesting thing and like here we are in connecticut obviously it's a state policy but they increased the you know they, they were like oh we're gonna drop the gas tax so everybody pays less of the pump however they increased the diesel tax to make up for it and dick blumenthal was hugely in support of that but Leora, look, you understand big, bad government policies. Your family, I mean, you, you, your family immigrated here from, you know, restrictive, big, bloated government. Tell us about the contrast of what your family grew up under versus what you see here and how you're going to fix it. Well, w my family escaped communist Cuba. Yeah. And in, before we left, they confiscated all of my family's businesses, our homes. They even took my tricycle and my dog. <laughs> that that's my first lesson in communism when they told me we were coming to america but we couldn't bring my new tricycle i had just had a birthday and we couldn't bring our dog because they now belong to some other cuban children yeah redistribution that was my first lesson and the other thing that castro did when he came into office was to indoctrinate the children against their parents to, to teach them to spy and inform on their parents. Ugh. He tried to replace them in their minds. Well, I'm standing up for parental rights here in Connecticut because in the schools here, they are do, trying to do just that. Yeah. They're not te teaching them to, to spy, but they are coming between children and their parents. They're grooming them. They're exposing them to a politicized and sexualized education that has no yeah. place in our education system. Well, yeah, to be honest, though, there have been some uh, some flyers that have gone around that I've seen where they've asked kids like, "Do your parents own guns? Like, are they vaccinated?" Things really? like that. Oh, so, oh yeah. Well, now I learned something. It's, I mean, it's crazy. I saw it. I was like, "This is insane." Leora Levy, best of luck. Three days from now, I, you have 
defied the odds in this race. So best of luck to you. Thank you. The people of Connecticut are ready for change. They've had enough. Yeah. That's why I'm running. Yeah. No, I, th I think that's the signs all over Greenwich, all over the state. Had enough? Vote Republican. Leora Levy, okay. have a great day. Thank you, Carl. Nice to see you. Good to see you, too. No crooked, crooked establishment. establishment. None of that twisting, twisting the truth. No talking down don't to me. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to don't think. Don't tell me how to think. I trust Newsmax. Newsmax. They don't tell, tell me, me how, how to think. think. They let, let me decide. Newsmax. Real news. For real people.